Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video I have this uh, Mercedes C-Class W204 2013. Uh, this is a state version. I'm just going to show you how you can uh, reset the tire pressure monitor. So the TPS system. Um, and basically what you want to do is obviously check all your tires, pump the required air. Um, if you look in the fuel cap here, it actually shows you, um, gives you a guide of the PSI that you can add to your front tires, rear tires. You have PSI or kilopascals there. Um, I normally use PSI and uh, it sort of shows you if you have this size tire, like say 205-55 R16 or 225-50 R16 with three people, some luggage, 36 PSI front, 36 PSI back. If you're carrying five people and a lot more luggage, then 36 front, 41 rear. You would have to readjust this once you no longer have all those people in there. Um, if you have bigger tires, again, you have slightly different settings there. Um, in this car, you can actually find out the tire size if you look on the on the wall of the tire. So this particular one is 205-55 R16. So we go with that there. 36 and 36. And then top up the air to what you've just found out. Once you've done all four tires, you go into the dash and you need to tell the computer what air to monitor so get the ignition on here and with this arrow here so okay so once that is ready with these arrows here you can go into service and then go down to tire pressure press ok and then it says run flat indicator active. Press OK to restart. So you press OK. It says tire pressure uh, now OK. So yes. So you go down with the arrow to the yes and you press OK and it says run flat indicator restarted. So now the car is going to monitor the pressures from where you set them. Um, if you pump the tires and you didn't tell the computer to restart, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna think that there's a puncture or that there's, uh, if, if some of the tires have more air than another one, it will detect that and then it was gonna come up with the, uh, the uh, tire warning, the puncture warning basically, which I can't see at the minute, but uh, that's what is going to happen. So, do the reset after you pump your tires so anyway hope the video helps don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thank you for watching